Hello Cancers and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So Cancers, alright, so I asked the Divine for a song for you guys today, right? And all I heard was soda pop, soda pop, that's all that I heard, soda pop, soda pop. I don't know what that is, I don't know if it's a song, it sounded like words of a song, so I'm going to have to look it up. Um, but, um, I'm feeling like somebody's ready to pop. That's kind of, somebody's getting shaken up, right? And it's going to pop. Somebody's going to blow, right? Anyway, Cancers, uh, I haven't even started your reading yet. This is your, um, daily love update, my darlings. Yay. Um, I love you guys. Uh, thank you so much for all of your support, um, all your kindness, your positive energy, everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing, okay? And that positive feedback, that's the stuff, man. Thank you so much, Cancers. I love you guys. All right, and um, this reading is for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with you, right? Just take what does resonate, toss out the rest. Just like any other reading, don't try to force it, okay? All right, so divine, thank you. All right, this emperor, they've gone within to think here. So the light is being shed on something here. Um, all right, divine, what else do you have for cancer? Thank you. There's been no communication yet. I feel like there's a queen of swords out here blocking this person from communicating with you, period. Um, so they're like resorting to kind of, I feel like they have their back turned on this Queen of Swords. These two are not getting along, this person. Um, they're angry. I feel like this person's kind of acting out like a total butt, really acting like a butt to this Queen of Swords here. But this is a person who's blocking their communication. They're blocking them from taking any kind of action towards you. All right. So this person resorts to kind of going within to look at the situation here. Yeah, I feel like this person, you know, this Queen of Swords could have blocked your person up to eight times. There, we got the Eight of Wands here. Um, up to that many times from coming towards you and talking to you. They want to give you this apology. Look at that. It's the end of a cycle here, beginning to a new one. I just see you moving forward, but... Believe me, they're watching you too here with this lantern. They're shedding a light on things. Um, this person knows you're moving. Either moving, you could be moving away. Um, you could be moving even to another side of the world, right? Um, either way, you're moving forward with your life. You are moving forward with your life, Cancer, period, end of story. <laughs> yeah, that's been your reading. No, I'm just kidding. But the universe has seen all the effort you put into yourself. You're, you're now entering into a new, very abundant cycle, um, very well balanced in your emotions. You're gorgeous. You're glowing. Your skin is glowing. You're peaceful. You're calm. You're uh, courageous and confident, right? Um, and everyone is watching you. You could be in the public eye. You could even be someone on TV, okay? Or they could be even watching you on TV somehow if you have like a public podium or something like that, right? Um, but you're just glowing and you're literally wrapped in intuition. Like you're wrapped in it. You're so connected to the divine. And um, you're about to, you know, you're, you, you're either making a house move or you could be traveling, something like that or just moving forward with your life brilliantly. This person wants to apologize, but this Queen of Swords won't let them. They're blocking their communication. This is somebody who could even, I don't think they've taken their, here there goes my phone ringing. I don't think they're taking their phone away. That's what I was just about to say in the phone rings. That's weird. They are definitely checking all of their calls. They're definitely, um, looking at the, the messages that they send out to people. Um, these two, I feel, are not getting along at all. Yeah, your person just keeps thinking about you. They need to, they have a choice to make. They have a decision to make in love. 
and this person can't stop watching you. I feel like um, they're losing sleep at night. Their eyes are all sunken and black here. Yep, thank you. And uh, um, you are just focused on the divine. You're taking your cues from the divine, where you go, where you move, how you move, okay? Um, and you're becoming very knowledgeable you're very abundant here. You're stepping in. All this green around you is abundance. I mean, you guys could be very well about to be very wealthy, okay, for some of you. But you're, you're following what the divine wants you to do, okay? And you're paying attention to God and spirit, and they're paying attention to you. And everything in their life is kind of burning down, okay? crumbling yeah but it's like every time this person tries to communicate I feel like this queen of swords is watching this person's phone I don't know why I, I kind of get the feeling like that's the last bit of control they can use against this emperor this emperor really rules the roost but they're they're they've been in their ego and uh, I feel like they're just acting like a butt, okay? Um, they're acting like a big... They're either not paying any attention to this queen of swords at all, they're both very cold, or they're just acting like it's my way or the highway kind of thing. They're just being like very brutish about stuff. But I feel like this queen of swords just keeps blocking communication they do not want this person reaching out to you to apologize because they know that this masculine, they hold you kind of above everyone else. They're, all they're thinking about is you. All they're looking at is you. Um, wanting to take a leap of faith towards you. I feel like, um, you know, this is kind of doing something impulsive too. Someone may even be wanting to do that at this point. Uh, yeah, crying. This masculine here is sitting up at night crying. Look at this fugly bedspread, right? I'd cry too. They need a new bedspread, but at the same time, this is the ugly patterns of their behavior that they're forced to look at now. How they treated you, right? The mistakes that they made. Maybe how they communicated with you in the past. Whatever it is for you. However it is they hurt you, that's what they're looking at. And they can clearly see who, who it is that you really, truly are. How They're sitting here thinking, how could I have done this to, to this cancer? How could I have done this to cancer? This is the earth angel energy because it's so healing and it's so nurturing and you're so peaceful and balanced and... Um, you, this is a beautiful energy. This is one of the most beautiful cards in the deck. Energy-wise, you're out here showing yourself your talents, your skills, your gifts to a lot of people. Um, you're, you're getting like a following. Um, you're helping people heal from things, okay, is what you're doing. And people are really digging it, Cancer. They love you. You're shining like a star. Some of you could be a star. Didn't I mention that you could be on TV? You could be on TV. So, you know, whatever it is you're doing, they can clearly see it. They can clearly see you. Everyone, a lot of people are seeing you shining brilliantly like a star. And this is a wish that this person has. Um, they're wishing for you. You're their wish fulfillment. Boom. They could drink a lot or could be drinking a lot like these days because they're feeling like this at night. During the day, it's like they try to be strong. They try and they, I feel like they're not even talking to this Queen of Swords. This Queen of Swords is just like monitoring their every move is really kind of what I'm feeling like here. And they don't, they're not talking, they just kind of sit. But at night, it's a whole new ball of wax. This person is crying. And I feel like they're sleeping alone. Okay, there's no one else in this bed. They're not sleeping. They're just, they just have a bed. They have a bed to sit and cry in. Cancer is what they, yeah. 
because they can clearly see now that you're their wish. This one wants to come out. Yeah, you're you're getting a fortune here. What did I say? Some of you could be on your way to wealth or, you know, becoming rich. The wheel of fortune's turning in your favor here. They can see that too very clearly. Yeah, you're moving forward. They can see that too very clearly. Very clearly. Um, and that this person just can't freaking, their mind won't let them rest. For real, their mind won't let them rest. Um, and meanwhile, this Queen of Swords, literally, I feel like they're monitoring everything this person sends out on their phone, everything that they get in on their phone, Anybody that they talk to, they could even be monitoring this person's travel, where they're going, when they're getting back, because they're blocking this communication from happening. They don't want your person to come forward, not to even apologize to you. Like, for real, yeah, because they're in a toxic relationship. Thank you, Divine. It was just sitting here. They back me up, man. Every reading, every reading, I just love I love my divine, you know, but yeah, um, they're stuck in a, your person is stuck in a toxic situation. They're chained here. Now this queen of swords, they're blocking this person's communication because if you see it, they're chained to this person, but they're reaping a benefit, this queen of swords, some kind of benefit. And because you're, they're keeping your person stuck in a miserable situation away from their love and wish fulfillment and destiny, they're held in high regard by the devil. Okay? But your person here, they want out. It's like they're trying, they, maybe they already did try to reason with this toxic individual, okay? Because this is a toxic individual here. And the, they're, they're in agony. They're suffering, you know, they have a fire lit on their butt cheeks, okay? And they're like, hey, can I get out of this now? Because it's kind of starting to hurt a lot. It's starting to hurt a lot to watch you leave. They want to go where their heart wants them to go, Cancer. And, and there's this Queen of Swords here that's holding them back and blocking communication and um literally as i feel i'm seeing somebody like literally monitoring phone calls maybe even like travel plans stuff like that um yeah clarify that the page of pentacles and the page of wands somebody may even Somebody may even come to send you a message for them. Because this, I feel like this emperor knows that this queen, this queen of swords is, is monitoring their communication. Then all of a sudden, I've got two younger people showing up here to give you information. So what is this about? Yeah, they feel they feel really chained here. They're burdened. They're feeling like they don't they they're feeling so stuck in this that they may have to they may have to walk away. Somebody's walking away from something. They could be walking away from this this toxic situation. There could be two individuals here that are mutual friends, maybe, or something. They're coming to tell you something from this person. Yeah, two individuals here. You know, Cancer, I got to say, watch who you're talking to on the phone. If you get a text message from this person, if you get a text message from them, it might not be from them. It might be from 
people that are working with this Queen of Swords. So, clarify. This is something that's hidden, but these are two individuals that are blocking this person's path. So I feel like just be careful who, make sure you know who it is that you're talking to. Okay, do you see what I'm saying? They may send you some kind of message that's flirtatious here. Um, I don't think it's coming from this emperor. And I don't think they sent these people to talk to you. I'm taking it back. I think it's coming from this Queen of Swords. I think that because as soon as this moon came out and showed me the blockage and the two people, and something that, I mean, and even the universe is aggravated by this. Look at the look. On, this is, I feel like it could be a trick. I feel like maybe somebody is trying to trick you. Yeah, I'm feeling like somebody's trying to trick you. There is a, a king of wands. Yeah, it's not your person. I feel like they're kind of holding back their communication. They're hanging on to your energy, but they're holding back communication. I feel like this is separate people sent in from this queen of swords to try to trick you. Even the universe is, is aggravated. I'm seeing this as two people trying to block this person's path, just like this Queen of Swords is doing. So be careful who, anything that you answer to, right? Make sure you know exactly who it is that you're talking to or don't answer the message. I feel like it's a trick. I feel like this is a trick. Right with the fool here, right underneath it, peeking out. Yeah. I feel like don't, don't answer that. Don't answer it because you don't know who it's from. It's not from your person. It's not. It's from two separate individuals here and I'm sent to block your path, I feel. Don't answer it. Don't invest any kind of energy into it. Yeah, it's not a real offer that fell on the floor. It's not a real offer. Okay, guys, this is a warning. You're going to get some kind of communication. It's going to sound great going to start off like hey can we talk but then it's going to get kind of flirty or maybe even playful it may be two separate text messages something like that i don't think it's from your person what's hidden from you is that it's two different people working together to see if you'll bite it's not your person. It's not a real offer. It's not. And I feel like your advice is to not invest any energy into that. All right. So I feel like you're, somebody's trying to trick you here. Maybe even it has to, it could have something to do with money. I mean, it's no, I, I feel like your person does want a new beginning with you, but I don't think this, these, this does not look right. It doesn't look right to me. It doesn't feel right to me. And that's that. I don't know how anyone else would read that, but that's how I'm reading that. Yeah, and this communication, I feel, is going to come in really fast. I feel like somebody may, may need money, too, as well. I feel like I feel like you're not going to invest communication into that and somebody's going to get angry and come forward and say something else. It's just it's crazy. 
Somebody's going to get their justice for all the backstabbing. Justice is coming in. You're going to find this out. Use your intuition, Cancer. I feel like somebody's trying to trick you. Um, I feel like your person is being monitored. And, uh, and they could even feel like, I mean, this is a very painful end here for your person. I feel like this is your energy here, Cancer. Somebody has a lot of love for you on the inside, but, the, but they don't show it. They don't tell you, okay? That's another clue to me right here that whatever messages come towards you, it may not be from your person. They definitely see you as somebody that they can have this Ten of Cups with. They do. They see you as somebody they can live a beautiful life with, okay? You're somebody who's not going to play any games, not going to, um, you're going to go after the things that you want. You're not wasting your time. You've been through a battle. I feel like this is your energy and what they have with you, and you're very, very sexy to this person, extremely sexy to this person. But this is somebody who holds back their emotions. I feel like when this when this communication comes in, I feel like it could be in the form of a text message or something. This is a trick. It's a trick to see if you'll bite. And I, that's how I'm feeling. That's just how I'm feeling cuz your person right now, they're they're feeling like man down here. I feel like they they have a lot of love for you, but they're they're holding back communication. So just be aware. I'm sensing a trick, okay, guys. I'm sensing a trick. You yep. On the bottom of the deck, use your intuition, Cancer. Wow, I cannot make it up. Use your intuition. Because you've got a very, look, the Queen of Swords is very intelligent, can be very tricky. Okay? Anyway, guys, listen, that's what I've got for today's update. Please use caution, use your intuition, use your discernment. Don't get tricked. And um, I am going to take this over to the extended, okay? I'm going to dig in deeper and find out what I can for you guys. So if you're interested in the extended, join me over at Patreon. I have to dig in deeper for this because I feel like you don't see this coming. Um, yeah, I have to give you guys, I, yeah, I have to. So anyway, um, yeah, there's a link to follow at the bottom of my description box if you want to join me over at Patreon. And um, until then, Cancer, use the biggest tool you've got. Use that intuition. Okay? If you guys like this video, click that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, right? And until next time, Cancers, know that I love you. Take care of you and peace out.